All right, so over here at Luna, kind of playing around with all their new goodies. We're tearing apart one of the ultra drives. And as you can see, here is the windings on the ultra drive compared to an HD. Quite a bit larger. Here's the rotor. <laughs> pretty big difference. And actually the motor is pretty easy to work on. Um, basically you've got your controller mounted in the one half of the side cover. So here's your controller, for, you know, similar to the HD, basic connectors. Somehow they do some witchcraft in here that makes the torque sensing work. Um, and then once you've got that cover off, you've got all your gears in here. Um, things are a little bit different. It's a, once the cover's off, basically you just pull these two out together. It's just a couple bearings that sit down in the housing. And no more one-way gear in the, or one-way bearing in the nylon gear. Now there's a bearing built in over here, a one-way bearing. So basically your rotor drives the nylon gear, which spins this other gear that's on the same shaft. That gear then spins this gear. And then in between these two, you've got your one-way clutch, and then this one drives the main gear over here. So it's pretty simple to take apart. Haven't tried taking this piece out yet, but after we got this section apart, we got curious and decided to tear apart the other side. So basically just three bolts that take off this cover plate. And then once you've got that off, the rotor is accessible and you can just yank it out of there. Um, really pretty basic to work on. So, and, and seems like the only weak point is maybe this clutch inside there. So we'll see, but it's nice. It looks like it's gonna be great for all the DIY people. Except that you just need to build that a custom one frame. thing about a custom frame. You yeah. need to build a custom yeah. frame. I want to say is when I got into this market, um, I, we do geared brush hub motors, and you were lucky to get a six to seven, six or seven to one, uh, in a geared uh, a hub motor, and they were really weak and couldn't take much power. And what you're seeing here is like a 25 to one, uh, I, and that's because of all these levels of reduction from going to steel to nylon and it still manages to be really quiet and efficient, which is- Side nylon gear, keeps it quiet. Yep. And I know that people are considering making these metal to make it even stronger, but we haven't seen many felled nylon gears. No, in the even in the HD. HD, yeah, I mean. Yeah. It's, it's, and also I want to say that just motor design wise, uh, I'll try to get some uh, motor expert uh, of ours to talk more later in detail on this, but you see how the, um, Stator is flatter. They call that kind of a pancake motor. This one's much thicker. What it gives you is, you can see it on the side, is a larger diameter, which is also good for the gear reduction and the uh, uh, to have a, the 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 um, larger the circumference of the motor, the more efficient it's going to be. Um, it's called a pancake motor, and it looks like. Our guess is it'll take a hell of a lot of power. So by having a larger diameter rotor like that, is it basically like applied leverage? Is that what? Well, what it is, is you know how the motors like to spin fast, Yeah. right? When they're larger like this, they're uh, they're spinning faster by, gotcha. by nature. Cool. You know, so it basically makes it like a, a bigger motor without adding all the weight and everything by making it narrower. This yeah, so what, this thing. is two pounds heavier than the HD? The whole unit's two pounds heavier than the HD, but it's a. It looks like um, a considerably bigger motor here. If you look, look at the difference. Look at, in, look at the difference in cooling ability too. Look at the holes in the on the ends. Yeah, yeah. Like they look. Well, guys, watch your fingers, guys. <laughs> but you can better, see the difference. A lot better cooling. Yeah. And we got a scale, and we're gonna weigh these. But um, it's basically the Saturn. and see the magnets. And, it looks like a complete redesign where the BBSO2 and the BBS HD were, were very similar. Hold on a sec. It looks like the thing is after something here, like to make the next Bros motor or or Bosch motor. They got some big ideas with this motor. Uh, I, I can tell you they probably spent half a million dollars in development on this. Did you guys race this against the turbo yet? 
I would race for pink slips. We did. Did you? Oh yeah, we did race, but one of us could pedal and one of us couldn't. That's right. Uh, that I had was to pedal. Motor. Did we race this motor against it? On the Apollo. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's it. All right, guys. So there you go. The, um, but here, look at look at this blown BBS HD, by the way, since we got them all, all taken apart. And who knows, this was a customer's that we switched out the core. You can see this thing's been beat up. And you can see how they fail. Um, it doesn't happen often that you have a, a, a blown motor. Have you seen this much, Josh? No. <laughs> I think maybe two of those. A lot of it is I think like two of those and two nylon gears. Ever. I think I think a lot of it is just water damage. Like water gets inside somehow. And that looks like when we ran that uh, external oh, controller. Are you sure? We, that's oh, you know what? That's what this is. This is when we ro rode the adapto controller. It wasn't properly tuned for this motor at all. It was out of phase, and yeah, yeah it, it was just, getting really hot. Yeah. All right. Cool. Great. All right, thanks Josh. Yeah, thank All you. Right, man. Got to That's tear awesome. apart some stuff.